so i have a raspberry pi pico board here and uh, this is the micro usb cable so i'm going to plug this micro usb cable onto the raspberry pi pico and other end is a usb this i will connect it to the system now so once you connect it to the system this will just power on okay so there is of no use for me so it may be predefined pre uh, flashed code will run so if i have to flash a new code onto this when you plug this to the system you need to hold this reset button just hold the reset button take the other end of the usb cable and simply connect it to the pc usb socket here so once you plug it and make sure that this will be once you plug it you can see a new drive appearing then release this so you can see now here on the on my system you can just see here you can see there is a raspberry rpi rp2 has appeared now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, flash a code onto this so i will just take out one blink file which i've already created so I have actually a Pico folder over here. Inside folder, I have a Pico example. We already built this Blink program. So under the build directory, we have this Blink dot uh, uf2 file. So just copy that file, Control C, and go to this PC and just flash it over here. Okay, click and just paste it over here. Once you paste it that's it i can see that the blink started that's simple so you have to simply copy the file the dot uh, you have to file to this and it will start working now how do i create such blink you have to file that is actually the building process so that is what the the next what i'm going to tell you how to build the project for this Not raspberry pi uh, to develop an application on this raspberry pi pico as i already told you that we need to flash the code onto this by connecting this onto the system now let's see how to actually develop uh, the code that is dot uh, ucf file so for building any applications so for that, we need to actually go to the developers command prompt for Visual Studio here. So we have developers command prompt. We can just click on this. And now I'm going to show you in the previous video, I've actually uh, told you how to build an applications. Okay, how to build, the, how to download these uh, SDKs, that is software development kit and Pico examples from the GitHub. So you need to have that. So where in this case, I already have here. See, as you can see here, the Pico example and Pico SDK. These are the two important things that we need to start with. So what I will be doing is I'm going to uh, tell you how to develop a simple applications. Okay. Now, if you go through the uh, getting started manual. So getting started with the Raspberry Pi. Pico is one of a useful manual which is actually shared by Raspberry Pi Pico Foundation. So as you can see, this manual provides all the details. Even the I have referred this manual for uh, uh, you know installing applications. They are given uh, for different operating systems, starting from Linux and Windows and Mac. You know all these uh, steps are provided here. So I refer here uh, on uh, nine point. Uh, to building application on MS window. So here if you follow the procedure, it will tell you uh, how to start with, okay. So we were here, so this is already uh, getting the SDK example is here. So we can actually execute all these in the command prompt. You can get all those folders, examples folders and uh, how to develop a application from the command line. Now to go with, you need to actually see the SDK path, okay. This is the Pico SDK path. So you just open the, the, the developer's prompt and you can you need to check whether you have set the path. Now in this case, I've already set the path. So how to see whether you have set the path of the variable, the, the environment variables. So here the command is echo 
Now let me zoom out. Uh, I guess we can just uh, change the font size of this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to display this echo. Uh, you can actually go to D drive and display as well. So I'm just going to clear CLS and okay, just to do echo percentage. The path variable name is uh, it's given in the manual over here that is Pico SDK path. Okay, so Pico underscore sdk underscore path so this is the path variable if you see here the path is i have set it to this okay now usually uh, in the manual they say some path so i prefer you you see where you are going to install that pico sdk folder when you do the when you download it from the github so the same path you give it the the folder is here okay the QSTK folder is here so I'm giving the same path over here so if you are setting the uh, path in your system what you can do is you can just follow this method over here given in the manual over here that is set x okay you need to follow this procedure here set x space the path name you have to give so I'll just give set x the the name of the environment variable pico underscore spk underscore path then in quotes you write whatever the path you want okay so now already set i'm not going to do this okay so in this way you can so this is the first thing to be done okay then once you do this just go to the folder where you actually have these applications so i have it here in the pico and then i have I'm going to build this actually. So how to start with? So I'll just go to Pico and okay, that's it. Okay, yeah. So I'll I'll just show you here in this. So Pico, I have here Pico example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one simple folder. Okay, one folder I create as this is Blink. Okay, I'm going to create a Blink application. So where do I get this? uh blink uh source code just go to blink example and i'm going to copy this blink.c and also this is the first thing required okay blink.c echo examples here the blink and i'm going to copy and paste it over here then the another foremost thing that is required is a cmake file okay so cmake is a file uh, which has all the the link of the the you know the libraries okay for this development so that is essential so just copy the cmake dot list so if you open that cmake dot list you can just see a few major things this is a usual command so you can get the cmake dot list in every build every particular example okay it is given in the hierarchical order so i have actually compiled this for the in a simpler case here so uh, here you can see we have actually included this path okay environment path actually this is not required over here i can comment this we already have it in this uh, sdk path this import and uh, this is something essential for the project name to what you are having is blink same name supposed to come and we have pico sdk in it to start the initialization and executable name for the project is blink dots we are considering it as blink.c and project output and libraries okay the target libraries if anything we have we need to include all this so cmake file actually uh, required to tell which are the you know the the libraries or the header files that we are going to use it in structure so any changes that you make with the header file you need to execute cmake and nmake commands and if you are simply uh, making the source code changes then you just to have to simply make the file so i will going to tell you that how to do that so once you copy this here just save it here and uh, let me go to the command prompt back i created a folder called blink so let me clear this and you can see in the blink we have two files the blink and cmake dot 
uh, test. Then let me create one folder mkdir space build. I will create this folder so because all my uh, executables will appear in this particular folder. Okay. The next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cd build and now I'm going to give a command. Okay. So if you if you go through this getting started with the PDF, okay, they are given what is the command to be given here. So as you can see, the cmake hyphen g and make make file okay this is what essential so make sure that you have given all these cmake cmake is very important to set so if anything goes wrong with the cmake or anything goes wrong with your gcc compiler like when installed you have to verify that error name and see that error name carefully and then you can take a sort out of the issues okay then the command that you give is cmake hyphen g space the quotes and make make files okay just give this command space dot dot so this is coming out of this build directory okay just give this command and if it everything is right probably it will run okay so it will create all the required build files for us to build. Now the next thing is actually I'm going to build. Okay. So build is as you can just refer to the manual again. Just see nmake. nmake is a command to be given for the build. Okay. Go back and just give nmake. Just give nmake command. Just enter. So this will execute. And it will actually provide you the required dot new uf2 file okay so this will take some time and this is actually building a simple one single file okay i'm just building one blink so if you go through that uh, 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 the overall build it will take a lot of time it will build all the directories so i'm just building it one single file that is uh, blink.led okay so this will blink the required file for me and finally yes it is almost done okay that's it so clear it and just check it once dir you can see here the build file you can see here blink dot new f uf2 file is here so as i mentioned this file you need to simply drop it onto that sd card just as usual take out the raspberry pi pico and simply press the reset button over here press the reset button connect it with your pc once it pops up here release it now what you need to do is you need to go to this just open the build copy this blink dot file so copy this uh, blink dot uh, UCF file here and go to the PC over here and just paste it and you can see now blink started that's it so this is how we can actually uh, develop using a you know uh, on a windows operating system on a command line you can actually having all these tools installed and we can so this is how it is done Thank you.